Hello peeps and welcome back to the Age of Engineering. Um, between episodes I did a bit of work. I did go through my base and completely revamp all of my power systems for the MV specification. MV wire connectors, MV relays, and MV cable. I also went ahead and added a little bit of automation to this thing. Hoppers on the sides, a hopper on the side of this, and then a hopper underneath pointing to a chest. I made a couple more sturdy casings. That brings my number of sturdy casings, I think, up to four now. And I went ahead and got these things going. Oh, hi! That's right. You don't obey walls. Well then, um... <clears throat> let's see. These thermoelectric generators. I did a lot of exploring. Like, a lot, a lot. I got all the way up to here before I thought, you know, I'm looking for an ice spike plains biome, which is about as rare as the mushroom island biome. How big a difference does it make? So I created a world just in, just to test. And I put these things down, and then I put an Ender-IO, duh, power receiver on top of them so that I could get a good reading. Ice or packed ice here. Ice provides the same amount of power when paired with Eulorium as water does. Eulorium on two sides and water on two sides gives you 40 RF a tick. Eulorium on two sides and ice on two sides gives you 40 RF a tick. Eulorium on both sides and packed ice on both sides gives you 42. I don't see it as being worth looking for the packed ice to get an extra 2 RF a tick per machine. So I said screw it and I just used water. But it's keeping my power nicely topped off now. I also found another temple while I was out there. In which I found an ender that's already got the basic empowerment. So, a few more capacitors, and that thing's going to be awesome. Entering can't teleport once hip. Increase skull and, and ender pearl drops. So that's awesome. I like that. And I had some plates being cut down in here. Um, Electra, I think I made way too much. But, eh, I'll use it eventually. And if not, then oh well. So, we're going to start off by making some more mixed metal, and then making some machine casings. We'll pop the mixed metal into my compressor, which I had doing a few plates. Uh, got a macerator making more coal dust, because it seems like I always need coal dust for something. Why do I have a piece of glass? and string in here. Who knows? I'm really looking forward to being able to get a drawer controller. No, you go in here. There, thank you. So let's grab some of these, and while we're at it, Let's grab my steel out of here. <clears throat> and then let's go ahead and just get blocks of steel going. Because I forgot you can put these things through in block form. Should go see if I have any more coal coke, though. I think I'm going to need more blast. I think I'm going to need more coke ovens than this. Because one just isn't keeping up. Ugh. The throat clearing has returned. But I spent the better part of the last couple of days congested as hell, so... I'm not surprised. Okay, we're going to toss our blocks of iron in there. We're going to toss our extra coal coke up there. And we're just going to let that run. Put our steel in here. 
and wait for another plate, I think. So, what I want to do on this episode is I want to get the beginnings of Ender.io. Because Ender.io is going to open a lot of doors for me, and it's going to allow me to use conduits. The wires here, they're doing their job. But these cables are lossy. If you send a thousand RF from here, by the time it gets over to here, it's not a thousand RF anymore. It loses about 2.5% getting here. So by the time it gets here, yeah, you, you're, you're dealing with some power loss when you're using these cables. Not to mention these cables have to, they pretty much have to be above ground. And they also can only move power. They can't move items. They can't move fluids. So I want to get to a point where I can start doing Ender I.O. stuff. But that requires the alloy smelter. <clears throat> and that's what, I want to, that's what I want to try to work on today. So if we take a look at the alloy smelter. Alloy smelter takes a machine chassis, a cauldron, iron, and furnaces. The machine chassis triggers H5. It's made from a sturdy casing, iron bars, Iron casing, which we've made tons of, and a basic capacitor. Basic capacitor takes copper electron tubes, enriched gold, and it takes these empowered Restonia crystals. To get one. The copper electron tube is made in that thermionic fabricator. We need clear glass and thickened glass, plus we need these redstone ingots from calculator. So, we got a lot to do. Let's get on it. First thing we're going to need is we're going to need some glass. We're going to take 32 glass, and we're going to get some sand. Which, of course, I have absolutely no sand. Why would I have all of the tools that I need to get started? That would be smart of me. Alright, well... Let's go ahead and make another tool that I've been intending to make for a while. We're going to make an excavator. Because with an excavator, I can just go out and dig up crap tons of sand in no time. Uh, this is, however, going to require... Let's see, what does an excavator take? Excavator takes a plate, the head, and those two things. So I've got all but the plate. Or I've got all but the uh, excavator head. And we'll go ahead and make one of those. Uh, I need some aluminum brass. I should have a little left over. Toss that in and let that melt. I moved the smeltery controller on the seared tank around a little bit so I can put this hopper in. So if I'm making large batches of something, it's a little easier to work with. I'm going to have to get some more lava for this thing soon. Okay, we'll move that to the bottom. Pop that in. Pour that out. There we go. And we'll grab our large plate, our tough tool rod, and our tough binding casts. Pour you out. I could put another table on here, instead of having all of the casting basins. Casting basins are really convenient when I'm making blocks of stuff, but if I have the alloy smelter, I'll be able to make my alloys in that, instead of having to cast them in here. So I might just save this for specialty work, casting tool heads and such. Backup started. Failed to save world. I don't know why it does that. But at least it doesn't crash me. So, there is that. And I'll cast the rest of this out later. You, 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 and you gets me you. We'll just walk out here and dig up a stack of sand real quick. 
We'll take one with an excavator. Let's put this thing back in collect mode. That ought to be plenty. Oh, hi, copper. Oh, yeah, that's plenty. Put this back in default mode so it doesn't irritate the hell out of me. And I'm going to need... <coughs> Half a stack of nether quartz, half stack of glass, and one stack of sand. Nether quartz plus sand equals enriched sand. Nether quartz, or glass, plus... Oh, wait. Is this a calculator recipe now? Calculator recipe U and U. Or is it divisive? Go ahead and get this processing. And let's see, is it thickened glass? Thickened glass is from sandy glass. Oh, it's like that. <clears throat> that produced a lot of it. Okay. I need some Restonia. I need some copper. And I need my thermionic fabricator. So. Copper electron tube. Oh, wait, I need Restonia. Not, or I need redstone ingots, not... What is a redstone ingot made of? Scientific calculator, iron divided by redstone. So, we'll grab... Oh, wow, I'm low on iron, aren't I? I'll just make eight for now. Iron divided by redstone. Good. You and you. You and you. You and you. You. We'll toss some more in here. And we'll just pull out a bunch of these things. And we'll remove all of that stuff so that this starts cooling off. So there's my electron tubes. Now, the empowered Restonia that I need to make this thing. Uh, empowered Restonia crystals. Empower Restonia crystals take resonating redstone crystals. They take ardite, red garnets, and rose red. So this will get me some rose red. Um, not going to need much of it for now, so we'll put that away. The red garnets I have in here. I'm actually only going to need one. I need an Ardite ingot, and I need one of these resonating redstone crystals. I also need Restonia. Now, one Empower Restonia crystal takes 400,000 RF to make, and it requires these items. A block of Empower Restonia takes 4 million, but uses the same material requirements. So since power is basically unlimited, I'm going to make a block of it.
Uh, give me just a second here. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I was making a note of the time when I, like, coughed half my lungs out so I could go back and mute it later. So, Empower Restonia, Rose Red, or Restonia, Rose Red, Ardite, Red Garnet, and Resonating. That's going to start powering up. Excuse me for a second while I grab a drink. See if that helps. Not really. That helped a bit. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't know how long that's going to take. I know it's going to completely drain these capacitors and a little more probably. So we'll come back here and grab this when it's done. We're going to work on the other parts that we need. So, I need some iron bars, which I only have five iron ingots left in there. That could prove to be a problem. We'll just do this. I need to do some more mining off camera. Okay, so we got that. Uh, that is done. Good. That will give me a block of Empowered Restonia. Nine Empowered Restonia Crystals. Capacitor. The basic capacitor is Enriched Gold, four Empowered Restonia, and two of these Electron Tubes. I think I have some Enriched Gold left from the last time I made it. I do. Damn it. I'm trying to be more mindful of when I'm doing the coughing so I can go back and cut the worst of it out. Really wish I could just get rid of the freaking congestion that I'm dealing with so I didn't have to cough. Anyway, there's my capacitor. So, we need a few more things. I need some steel plates. And I already have one in there, but that's not enough. So we'll get this cutting up. I need one of these. Actually, I'm going to need two of these for a reason I'll explain in a second. We need the Carpenter from Forestry. Bronze, glass, and a sturdy casing. And... need some glass. Might actually need some more. So we need to make the Carpenter. There we go. Carpenter, get. The reason why we need the Carpenter is because... The machine chassis has to be made in a carpenter, but it also requires seed oil. Well, seed oil is a little bit of a problem, because we don't have a squeezer. Which means we need a squeezer. If I remember right, the squeezer takes tin. Squeezer? Get. Now this is where I find out I don't have enough conduit to connect this thing. Nope, I have one L I have one wire connector and that's it. Okay, well we'll borrow the thermionic fabricator. So, carpenter, squeezer. I'm gonna borrow your power. You and you. You and you. There we go. Now we're building power in these. The squeezer squeezes plant oil out of seeds. 
or seed oil. Uh, squeezer, squeezer. Here we go. Pumpkin, melon, chestnut, coffee, beetroot, industrial hemp, canola, flax, walnuts, regular seeds, cherries, or rice. So I need to squeeze a hundred seeds. Uh, in here, there's 60. And if I use the canola, that turns it into canola seeds. That's 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So, let's go pop these in. In you go. You're going to start squeezing down. And we'll come back to you in a minute. By now my steel plates are done. So, casing. Basic machine casing. Carbon plates. Advanced alloy. And steel. Uh, I actually need one more piece of iron, don't I? And I need four black quartz. So, advanced machine casing, iron, iron casing. We've got the bars, we've got the capacitor, we just need the carpenter to make the damn thing in. Because we still have a sturdy casing left over. We actually have two. Sturdy casing. Iron bars. Basic capacitor. Iron casing. Now we basically just have to wait for the squeezer to be done. So, while we wait for that, let's check our power. 2.7, and these are completely recharged. Let's go ahead and make another block of the Empower Restonia. Because having capacitors is going to be really nice. Which means I'll need one more of you. One more of you. And one more of you. You go there, you go there, and you, and you, and you. Thirty-six. Damn. I was hoping it'd be done. One thing I could be doing... Over here I still have this greenhouse running. It's producing lots of coal dust, and I have crap tons of these seeds. Biomash out of the seeds, but this coal dust... What can it be made into? <clears throat> it can be made into enriched coal using coal coke. Which gives improved burn time. Fire coal... Dividing by a lava bucket gives fire coal. Or a circuit, two enriched coal and another circuit gives control fuel. These circuits I'm going to have to get to work on soon. <clears throat> I need to find these damaged circuits, which requires an extraction chamber. The extraction chamber is reinforced stone, a power cube, and weakened diamonds. What's weakened diamonds? Diamond divided by reinforced... Okay, that's not, that's not bad. Probably should get to work on that. 
pretty soon. Maybe get into that next episode. How are we doing? We're done. Pop you in there. You're going to start crafting up. Bammo. Machine chassis. Age 5. Get. The Ender Age. Now, this is where progress is going to start slowing down pretty dramatically. Because age 6, if I remember correctly, is a pain to get to. Age 6 is the automation age. Which requires me to go to the end. I have to go to the end and fight the Ender Dragon. Well, I don't necessarily have to fight the Ender Dragon. I just have to have the End Stone. And I can get to the end. But... It requires a lot of ender pearls, and I don't have them. I only have these two ender lilies making ender pearls for me. So I'd like to be able to fight endermen. One thing I could do, but I don't have a, I don't have an anvil yet, so I'll have to do some more iron. I can take this stuff, and I can make another capacitor, and plug that into my ender to get a little more oomph out of it. But <clears throat> let's remember the reason why we did all this. I want the alloy smelter. Alloy smelter is iron, a cauldron, oh shit. Well, crap baskets. Lots of steel, not enough iron. Well, looks like we're doing a short mining trip. Let's grab my hammer. It's already on me. We'll do a quick mining trip. Get a little bit of iron. Should try and find some more copper while I'm at it. Wait for stabilization. Can't tell I've done any mining down here. Actually, one thing I should do, and this is going to be taking me right back home, which I realize is kind of pointless. It's like, why did I even bother going? But, I want to get this Null Charm. I want to put some more stuff away. The Null Charm is a very, very nice tool. Let me finish putting this stuff away, and I will explain it. You and you, and you and you. You don't go in there, but you do. And you go in there. Okay. The Null Charm is made with a piece of obsidian, an enderpearl, and an unstable enderpearl, which is made by combining wither dust and an enderpearl. This thing, when you are holding it in your inventory, will delete any blocks that are set on its filter. So right now I have stone, diorite, and granite set on its filter. Any stone, diorite, or granite that I pick up gets deleted. Now, it doesn't play nicely with the white bag, though. If this thing is set in pickup mode, it won't delete the stone. So, I've been keeping the bag off of pickup mode and just tossing stuff in it by hand. Let's come over here and let's just let's just start finding this way. I really would like to get a magnet ring. Let's go ahead and filter limestone and marble into this thing too, so drop that, we'll drop that, we'll pick it up, and it goes away. Oh, 
I don't really like that when you pick stuff up, it doesn't make a sound. Oh, hi, Iron. Give me your tasty goodness. We'll take the quartz while we're at it. And the coal. I'm finding you can never have enough coal in this pack. May as well grab this bauxite and this coal. There's some copper. We'll grab it too. That's where I'm glad I have the excavator. I can't believe I've only found that tiny little bit of iron. I'm definitely going to have to do some mining off camera between episodes here and pick up some more iron. Lots of tin, though. And so does quartz. This is very nice. Being able to do all this. Oh, hi, Iron. Lots of you. Okay, that's probably enough for now. How much is that? 26? Yeah, that's enough for now. We'll go ahead and pop the coal into there. We'll deal with that later. Bauxite I'm saving because someone left a tip on one of my videos saying don't process any bauxite if you don't have to. You're going to need tons of it later. So I've been trying to save my bauxite. Uh, I've got even more coal to throw in here. I just have tons of coal. And we'll toss the Certus Quartz ores in there too. Why do I have two different types of Certus Quartz ores? Oh, some of it was charged. Nice. We'll toss the iron in there right away. We'll get most of this stuff processing. Not plants. And uranium I'm keeping in tech and mod for right now. Alright, there's some iron. That's enough to make my cauldron, but not enough to do much else with. Uh, I still have 16 iron in there, though, so we're good. Let's get my machine chassis. Uh, those are coal generators, not furnaces. Those are furnaces. Alright, so, furnace, 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 cauldron, machine chassis, iron, alloy smelter. Ha ha ha! For right now, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to pop it down here. We're going to steal this connection. There we go. Max 20 RF a tick. Now, here's where we can start evaluating some of these capacitors that I found. I actually want to do this before I fill it up on power. Because some of these are going to change the power. So, you upgrade to 60. You don't do anything. Wow. You also don't do anything. Neither do you. You're 60. You're 100, so that's nice. We're going to keep you there. You're 20 with a large power increase. 60. 110. That's even better. 
hundred, hundred, nothing, hundred, and sixty. And what did she text? Give me just a second here. I hate doing this on camera, but let me respond to this text real quick. Okay, so we're going to toss you in there because you increase the RF a tick without increasing the power too much. You're going to give me the highest processing speed, the highest bang for my buck right now. That's what I want. Now, conduit binder. It takes this binder composite, which takes wood pulp, CF powder, which is clay, sand, and stone dust to get the CF powder. The stone dust, you have to get through a, through a thermal centrifuge, unfortunately. Or an ore washing plant, but <clears throat> I'm not using IC2 processing, so or washing plant ain't going to do much for me. Well, I guess I could just wash gravel to get it. And I am going to want it eventually anyway for the crushed uranium. So what I might do is I might start processing this uranium through the macerator. Oh, but then I'm going to have to have... I'm going to have to have the environmental suit to be able to carry that crap. Or it's going to fry the crap out of me. So I think we're just going to go with the thermal centrifuge. I know I'm going to need that anyway. Thermal centrifuge is coils, advanced machine casing, electric motor, iron, and mining laser. The mining laser is kind of a pain in the ass. Because it takes this advanced circuit. Which is Empowered Restonia and Empowered Palace. I have the Empowered Restonia. Let's see what it's going to take to make the Empowered Palace. Um, a fish, a prismarine shard, a blue slime crystal, and some cobalt. Well then. Do I have any blue slime? I don't think I do. I have rice slime. That's not going to work. Blue slimy mud. Blue slime. Yeah. I'm going to have to do some work off camera to get this one. What about the ore washing plant? Ore washing plant is basic machine, electric motor, basic circuit, a couple of buckets. It's on power tier one, so it's easily doable right now. Bucket, what's the electric motor? Tin casings and coils. Coils are kind of a pain in the ass. I think I'm going to go with the centrifuge, because it's going to be a while before I'm going to be, have any use for that uranium. But the centrifuge, I am going to need lithium for something. can't remember what. Oh yeah, empowered diamantine. Er, diamantine. Diamantine? Yeah. Takes lithium dust. So... That gave me some good resources to work with for the moment, although it's a drop in the bucket compared to what I actually need. And you go in there, and I think this is about where I'm going to have to call this episode. So, we made some good progress. We got our alloy smelter up. We diagnosed all of our capacitors to see you know, exactly what they are. We're making this Empowered Restonia so we can make capacitors now. I would really like to be able to make a Vibrant Capacitor Bank. Vibrant Capacitor Bank is Vibrant Crystal Electrical Steel and four Octatic Capacitors. Octatics are Vibrant, so I would need Ender Pearls before I can even think of attacking this. But double layers just take Energetic and coal dust, imagine that, and basics, so might be able to make 
I can definitely get at least double layers, because now I can make energetic alloy. Since it's just glowstone, redstone, uh, and gold. So I might get some of that cooking up off camera. Um, might get a few more things cooking up off camera. I'm definitely going to do some mining off camera. But we'll get to all that when I come back. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Night Dagger with episode, I think this is episode 12 of The Age of Engineering. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I am not done recording for the night. I'm going to record probably at least another two or three more episodes tonight. So I have some backlog for when I'm working odd hours over the next couple of weeks. That way I don't have to worry about coming home and still having to record for you guys. And you guys will still be able to get videos every day. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you later, peeps.